Hey guys, I'm Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor and this one is a fun little school bus design with a cute little pennant banner and some flowers. It's not going to be like your average school bus, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I teach women how to paint door hangers every single day in my on my Facebook page and in my membership, the Painters Clubhouse, which is now open for um, enrollment. If you are interested in this and you enjoy this video and you want to learn how to paint these, I would love for you to come and join us at the Painters Clubhouse. I've I will tell you though, tomorrow is the last day to join, so it's it's ending very soon. Um, I'm going to start off by painting this whole thing white just to give it a nice base coat because I want my yellow color on my bus to show up really well and I want all the colors to be nice and bright. So we're just going to cover this entire thing in white, but just so you know, this is an etched door hanger blank. You see how you could see the lines uh, etched in the surface? That means that um, you can just kind of paint by number almost like you can just look and stay inside the lines and you don't have to draw anything or freehand anything. And even after I paint this white, you can still see those etched lines. I don't always give my door hangers a coat of white underneath, but um, if I'm going to be using a lot of bright colors like the color on this school bus, coating it with white first, just make sure that the colors are nice and bright. Um, and that they all look the way I want them to look rather than sometimes if you're using bright colors on top of just normal wood, um, the colors don't turn out nearly as bright. Oh, if you look closely, it may be difficult to see it in the video, but you can still see the lines underneath where it had the design etched to the surface. So I will still be able to paint on top of this and see the lines. You won't have to freehand anything, but it, everything we teach can be painted on a smaller scale, just like this. This is a 12 inch size, and normally I would teach on a 20 inch size uh, door hanger, but 12 inch is great for like a wreath attachment, so I thought that would be a good size to teach you guys to paint. So all of my templates come in a 20 inch size, but they can easily be resized for wreath attachments. Um, and then in our shop, shopdoorhangers.com, we um, sell them in four sizes, 20 inch, 12 inch, six and eight inch. So if you wanted to get the uh, smaller size, you could. And then I will just say that uh, if you're a Painters Clubhouse member, you do have a 20% off discount code. You can use it any time to buy more templates and blanks inside the shop. So that's one of the perks of being a Clubhouse member. Okay, let's paint our cute little school bus. I'm using the color Primary Yellow. And all the paints that I'm using are Deco Art Americana Matte Acrylics. That's the, the my paint color. So right now I'm just kind of painting around this cute little uh, pennant banner. And I'm just following the lines that are etched in the surface of the door hanger. Now our templates that we give you have the design etched in, or not etched in them, but drawn on them. And you can transfer those to your uh, door hanger using a piece of graphite paper. And so then you don't have to free freehand anything with that either. And the templates are only $5. Now as Painters Clubhouse members, like I said, you get 20% discount on those, but we also give you two templates every single month inside the membership. And we have a painting tutorial that you get to go along with those as well. Membership, the Painters Clubhouse is open for enrollment. And um, so I'm here to talk to you guys about that today. If any of you guys have questions, Everything that we teach you in that group, we do encourage you to use in, in items that you sell or to sell them um, on your own. And then we encourage you to like teach them at paint parties if that's something you'd be interested in. Okay, this little area up here is supposed to have black. It goes around the little flashing lights on the school bus. We also teach things inside the membership, like different kinds of techniques that could be used to any project, like how to paint flowers or how to do, how to incorporate glitter in your painted product projects or um, bow making, which I'm sure Damon's got that covered. He's actually provided a couple of tutorials for us for the Painters Clubhouse, teaching us how to make fancier bows because bows are not something that we are that good at, most of us anyways. Um, and so we need help with that. But we do have videos that teach like hand lettering, um, that teach how to like do different kinds of patterns, like maybe leopard print or something like that. And so even if you've never painted before, we take you through the entire process from start to finish 
on how to paint your first door hanger. And so we pretend as if you've never painted before when you come in, you go through a beginner's course. And so just by going through that beginner's course, you're gonna learn all of the basics that you need to know in order to get started. So many of the women who have already joined are enjoying that um, beginner's course so much and they're loving it. If the Painters Clubhouse is $37 a month, Oh, thank you, Angela, for letting them know. Yes, it's $37 a month. You can also pay yearly. Um, by paying yearly, you get two months for free. And if you pay yearly, you get instant access to our Clubhouse Vault. Now, the Vault is what we call um, our collection of tutorials that we've had in there since the very beginning. Our Painters Clubhouse opened in March of 2018, so we are about to be celebrating our second anniversary next month. We're going to have a little party inside the clubhouse and play some games and do some fun stuff. Um, so I would love to have you guys join us for that. But all of the tutorials that we have in our collection since the very beginning are available in the clubhouse vault. Now you can get instant access to those if you join yearly, but if you decide to join monthly, that's okay too. And you will get access to those eventually, but they are dripped out to you a little at a time. That way you aren't overwhelmed and um, trying to consume too much content at once. And um, so you would gain access, like unlock access as you go. Okay, that looks pretty good, that color blue, even though we kind of mixed it and made our own. Yeah, I'm trying to go live as much as I can this week because um, once the doors to the Cleaners Clubhouse close on Friday night, then I will be putting all of my focus into the ladies of the Painters Clubhouse. And um, I do still go live on my page, okay, like weekly, but I try to give more of my attention and focus to the Clubhouse. So one of the fun things that we do in the Painters Clubhouse that is like one of my favorites that I just love is the Zoom paint party nights. And so we do these at least once a month. We get together on a Zoom call so that we can see each other, we can chat, we can get to know one another, and we paint. That's that's pretty much all we do. We just paint together and we talk, and it's just the funnest time. Let me mix a little bit of black with this gray to make a slightly darker color. And we'll do that on these little bumpers. And so we do that once a month. And then um, starting in the month of April, I'm gonna start having a business tip of the month that I give the clubhouse because many of these ladies, now that they've been painting for a while, are starting their own businesses. They didn't really plan to, but they um, they kind of found out that they have this talent and people will pay for it. And so they need a little bit of help. So I'm gonna start giving business tips once a month. Okay, now we're gonna use our little sponge pouncer, dip in the paint and then daub as much of it off as we can. And then we're gonna just do some cute little polka dots on our bus. And sometimes I have to use like a piece of paper. I've got like this little baby wipe here and I'll do some kind of going halfway on and halfway off so that I don't have to repaint and fix the spot. Let's see, we'll do one here and up here. And then I need one kind of halfway on and halfway off the blue. Do one there. Have to get creative with this because I should have done this before I started painting my background colors. Of course, I can always fix it if I need to also. Okay, I think we got it now. We got our cute little polka dots. Let me show you what it looks like. So see the bus has cute little polka dots on it and slightly off colors, like it's a slightly different color of yellow. So now I'm getting my green and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my little leaves so I know which ones are leaves and which ones are flowers on here. Thank you, Trina. It's looking adorable. Oh, thanks, I think so too. Um, I'm kind of sad that school is out right now because this would be a lovely gift for um, a school teacher or maybe even your bus driver that drives your kids to school. Um, or maybe a school principal would love this. It's very cute. The color that I'm using now is Hauser Light Green. 
and I'm just going around and painting all of the leaves and then I'll paint the flowers next. I just thought it might be easier to see which ones are the flowers if I paint the leaves first. Kind of differentiates things. If you sign up by tonight, you get one of our bonuses. If you wait till tomorrow, all the bonuses are gone. We had different bonuses each day. So if you sign up by tonight, the bonus that you get is a tutorial showing you how to paint a football sign. Um, and it was really cute. It's got like a little megaphone, a football on it, and then the background looks like um, a football field. So that's the free tutorial. It's like a bonus tutorial that you get if you sign up by midnight tonight. Okay. Somebody said, do you send out signs for the class? So Janice, the way it works is we give you the templates to cut your own signs. And then if you don't want to cut your own, you can order the blanks shipped to you for an additional cost. Um, and you can use a 20% off discount code to do that from our shop. But we try to encourage you and teach you to cut your own because it will save you a lot of money in the long run. And it gives you a little bit more creative freedom too, to figure out, you know, like once you start to get better at the painting part of it, you're gonna want a little bit more freedom to be able to paint things exactly the way you want. Um, but a lot of times starting out, people will just start by buying the blank ship to them. And then that when they get brave enough, sometimes they will branch out and learn how to cut their own. Now we do have a tutorial inside the beginner's course when you first join that shows you step-by-step -step how to cut your own using a jigsaw or a scroll saw. So even if you have like limited mobility, using a scroll saw is a definite possibility because there was a lady inside um, our challenge group that we did when we painted this one right here. And we did a challenge last week and we painted the lemon welcome door hanger. And there was a lady who cut hers while sitting in a wheelchair. I was just so impressed with her. Um, but she, she didn't let it stop her. She still got out there and she cut it out anyways. And so um, if she can do it, you can too. Hello, Sharon from Missouri. How are you? Okay, let's paint purple now. This is called Pizzazz Purple. Sometimes this color can take a couple of coats, but it's worth it. It's so pretty. Kind of helps too if you dry it in between coats. So I may have to pull out my hair dryer in just a moment and dry these so that I can then do the second coat because they look a little bit splotchy until you do that second coat. There we go. And then while that's drying, we will go ahead and move on and paint the turquoise flowers with the sea breeze color. Like I said, the Painters Clubhouse membership closes tomorrow. We only open it two times a year, once in the sp uh, spring and once in the fall. So if you're wanting to go deeper with this sort of thing and learn how to paint these, right now there could not be a better time to learn a new skill. We are all kind of self-quarantined right now and having to stay home. So um, what better way to spend your time than learning a new skill? So if you wanna come and learn from me, I would be honored if you would join our Painters Clubhouse membership. Okay, we've got all of the basic background colors painted, and now we just have to add some details to our flowers and some details to the little bus. So um, I'm gonna start with the flowers, and I'm gonna add a little bit of darker green. This is the Hauser Medium Green. Just a tiny bit on a round tip brush, and I'm just gonna add like a little detail, a little bit of extra darker green on the edges of these little leaves. And then we're gonna go back and add details to the flowers. So now with the flowers, what I like to do is I like to get a little bit of white and mix it with each color. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of white with the purple and we're gonna make a light purple. And then we're gonna use the light purple to kind of just add some little swooshy, mar uh, swooshy marks, I'm not sure what you call them, they don't really have a technical name, inside the flowers. And it makes them look just a little bit more like a flower. So now let's do the same thing with the pink. I'll show you what I did. It's very messy. 
See there? So now we're gonna do the same thing with the pink. Add a little bit of white to your pink. Make a light, light pink. And then add just some little highlights and swooshes inside the petals of your pink flower. There we go. And then for the turquoise, because the turquoise color is already so light, I'm gonna use a darker turquoise and mix it just a little bit with the lighter turquoise. This is called bluegrass green. It's a much darker turquoise. And we're gonna use that as an accent color. I'm gonna just swirl it in with the teal that I already had. And then we're just gonna use that to add some depth to our little flowers here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what I did. And then we will go back and we will add some details. So see how I used a little bit of dark teal on the flowers? Let's do the flags in the same color as the flowers, but maybe add one other color or something. So we'll do one with the pink. And then we'll do one with purple. And we'll separate them though. I'll put like teal or something in the middle of them. And then we'll do the turquoise one. We'll do it out here to the side and then I'll do something else in the middle. Maybe orange. Let's see. Um, let's try a little bit of orange in that middle flag. This is Canyon Orange by Deco Art. My favorite orange, it covers really well. Not all oranges are created equal. Some of them do not cover well at all. These pens are the best ever. They're Posca paint pens. They come in a set on Amazon. This is the largest one, the bullet tip, and I'm gonna use it to kind of trace everything and add some details. So I'm just gonna create, it's like using a giant marker. And I'm just gonna kind of create the little string that goes across here to connect these little flags. And then we're gonna use it to kind of go around some of our other details, like the little headlights. Um, we can go around our window. And this is what I was saying about if you're a messy painter, this step right here hides all of your little flaws because it's like adding the, the coloring book lines in after you've colored. Makes things so much easier. Okay, so we did that, and then I'm gonna use a smaller paint pen to add some of the other details, because I don't want all of my details to be super bold. So I'm gonna switch to the medium size pen. So I had to wipe it off before I got started. So that's the thing, you want your paint to dry really good before you go um, adding all of your details with your paint pens. But now we can go and just add some cute little details around the edges. We can add like a little outline on our little flags. It's kind of like writing with a Sharpie, only Sharpies get dried out when you write on paint with them. These don't get dried out. They stay working. Sometimes instead of doing like a straight line, I like to do some little cute little dots. And then, um, let's see, this little, I was trying to look at my picture. This goes up and around, and then this goes down and around. Oops, I got kind of off the edge with that. It's okay. Um, and then we got some cute little details around our bumper. So just have fun with this part. This part to me is the funnest part of doing the door hanger. It's like it finally ties it all together. Makes the whole thing really come alive. And then you can even do little details inside your flowers, but I'm gonna save that for just a moment and let them dry for a moment longer. Um, I'm gonna get the largest white one that it came with, and we're gonna do some stripes across the center of our bus, kind of like a grill. There we go. 
little grill on our school bus. And then, um, oh, I wanted the smaller white one. So this is the medium size white. And then we're just gonna add some cute little details on our tires. We could even add just a little bit of highlight like on our bumper. And then a little bit. Sometimes I like to get the bigger, fatter pin, but sometimes I like to just use this size and just do wiggly lines inside of things that I want to have a highlight. Okay, so now that our flowers are a little bit more dry, let's get the medium black pen and just add some cute little doodles inside our flowers. This is gonna make those little flowers really stand out. love this little whimsical style of doing flowers. It's so easy. And now we can take a little bit of white and just add a little bit of white in there to make the flowers pop and on the little leaves if you want. I like to move a little bit quicker with this part because if you go too slow sometimes you try to act like a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist. Okay let me add just a little bit on the 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 um Headlight looked a little funny. It needed a little something. So there we go. Okay. Oh, and the, the windshield needs a little bit of something. So let's add just a little bit with the marker like that to make the windshield look reflective. Okay. I think we are about done. I think I see a couple more spots I want to edit, but look how those paint pens really made the whole thing just come alive. Okay, if you enjoyed this little tutorial, you would love the Painters Clubhouse in there. Uh, I usually do an overhead camera so you can see just a little bit more in detail as to what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And it's way more instructional than this was. This was more social. So um, in the Clubhouse, we show you exactly which brushes to use. We talk about paint colors and why we are choosing things and what we're doing. And so um, if you need help and step-by-step -step instructions on learning how to do this sort of thing so that you can add these adorable little attachments to your wreaths, I would love to have you come and join the Painters Clubhouse. It ends tomorrow and then it's closing the doors until the fall. So if you don't want to wait until September to learn how to paint, come and join us.